Hi everybody. So today we're going to talk about advertising books, my favorite advertising books. And um, yeah, it's a thank you to the listener who sent me a request for this video. I think it's an important subject. So the first two books that I think everybody should read at the very beginning are Ogilvy on advertising and scientific advertisement, scientific advertising actually by Claude Hopkins. So I'm going to explain why. So Ogilvy on advertising is going to teach you what actually matters in advertising and what makes sense to do in advertising. And Ogilvy had one of the most powerful uh, advertising agencies in history. He saw every ad success and failure. And this man really knew what worked and what didn't work. Uh, he was extremely successful, made millions with advertising. So when somebody is that successful, you should listen to it. And he doesn't really go into great detail on how to write copy, but it's a good book at the beginning so that you know what matters and what doesn't matter. Uh, and then with this information in hand, then you'll be able to refine your advertising and you'll be able to tell what doesn't make sense, right? So uh, the next book that I think also is um, hugely important at the beginning, especially, let's say that you, you are running an, uh, a marketing department in a company and you need to hire copywriters, you need to hire people to do advertising for the company. Then this book, Scientific Advertising, along with the previous book that I mentioned, Ogilvy on advertising. These are going to be your most important uh, books to basically know when things make sense and when, when they don't make sense. For example, if you are talking to a Facebook advertising uh, specialist and they're trying to tell you, oh, we have a metric which is called awareness consumer awareness and with this campaign we have raised your consumer awareness to a certain level for example uh, if you if you <laughs> if you've read scientific advertising and ogilvy on advertising you will know that the only thing that counts is sales or conversions and you will know what to focus on and how to tell them you know, where to go. How are you going to handle your company? Yeah. And also, how are you going to handle your advertising team? Who are you going to hire? Yeah. That's these two books, Ogilvy on advertising and scientific advertising are must reads both for the advertiser himself and second, for the advertising manager or for the communications manager in a company, right? Very important books. Now, uh, copywriting, when it comes to actually writing the ad, um, you really need all three books by John Cables. Um, they are no nonsense, they're short, they have no fluff, and they're full of, they're just jam packed with really good information that comes from decades of testing at, a, at an advertising agency called BBDO and before BBDO as well. Yeah. So very good books. So this one is called Making Ads Pay. The next one is called How to Make Your Advertising Make Money. And this one is probably the most famous one, which you, you, you have to have, called Tested Advertising Methods. Yeah, 
All three by John Caples, must-haves, must-reads, yeah? So, I start at the beginning, Ogilvy on advertising, scientific advertising, these two to build a foundation on how, how to organize your, or how to tell if your advertising is more likely to make money, yeah? Then, for actually writing the ads, you have the John Cables books, which are incredible. And then comes another book that I have mentioned in my videos several times. You could, instead of the three Cables books, just jump to this book. Yeah, that's, you should probably read all of them, but let's say that, you know, here, the Kindle edition is only $6. This book by Victor Schwab has, first of all, it has like a hundred effective headlines, something like that. And what happens when you have those headlines is that you can use them as, you can repurpose them, basically. You're not supposed to copy them word by word, but you can repurpose them to your to your ad yeah so um, John Cables also has that has a bunch of headlines but this one has that and it also has cha chapters on proof how to prove your point it, it's just a very complete book very good book you should probably read all of them but let's say that you probably maybe if you are beginning and you don't have the money then this book could actually um, kind of cover everything that the previous books have done. Yeah, it's not a substitute, but if need be, this is a good book. Now, if you're a manager uh, in a company and you are in charge of the advertising department, this book is not going to hurt you, but it's not really what you need. Yeah. If you're, uh, because it's a little bit more in depth in how to write the ad. And if you are, you know, the head of the communications department in a company, you're probably not going to spend time writing the actual ads. That's going to be somebody else, somebody that you hire. Yeah. So uh, it's not going to hurt you to read it, but time is, you know, limited and we're all busy. So, very good book. Now, uh, there is something very important that I need to share with you. And I didn't know this for many years because for some reason, I'm not going to get into it right now, but when I first started writing my ads, the traffic that I was getting was practically free. And so I tested ads against that traffic and I sold my products and that was just fantastic, yeah? But then when I went into a different line of business where the, um, the advertising traffic had to be paid for, then um, the whole business came crumbling down because I didn't know about traffic. And uh, if you are running an advertising department, this is crucial. So what should you read? So uh, there are some books by Perry Marshall on Google AdWords. Does uh, he not only Google AdWords? He has all the platforms. So he has books on Google AdWords, on uh, LinkedIn, I believe, maybe on Bing ads. You should learn how to use those. Yeah, very important. If you're just writing sales letters, you, it's just not good enough. Yeah, and if you're running a company or running a marketing department and you don't know about traffic and you're outsourcing that to an agency, they're going to charge you through the nose and it's mostly 
going to be ineffective. So what is the solution to this huge problem? The solution is right there and it was available. The information is all out there, but just nobody talks about it except for Dan Kennedy, who is who's now passed away. And then Dan Kennedy, Dan Kennedy just wouldn't stop talking about this because it is that important. And that guy is a genius. And I am so thankful that he just wouldn't stop talking about this. And this book is a must. It's called Magnetic Marketing. I'm not such a big fan of his copywriting book, The Ultimate Sales Letter, I think it's called. I'm not such a big fan. But the Magnetic Marketing book is a must. And he has also a lead generation course. I think this is the name of it, The Ultimate Lead Generation Machine. It's an expensive course um, with like several DVDs or CDs, whatever. Quite expensive. It's worth every cent. It's worth every cent. And what you might ask, what is the um, sort of condensed version of this? And it is that, for example, let's say that you're selling a toothbrush and you advertise that toothbrush to me today. Today, I have in my home a pack of 10 toothbrushes. So your advertisement, even though, you know, I am a person who needs toothbrushes because um, I don't need it today, the money that you have spent on this ad is getting lost. Yeah, it's not effective. And only a few people that you contact today will be at that perfect day where they actually need to buy this item from you. Yeah? So this is what Dan Kennedy sometimes called buy now advertising. Yeah? Buy now advertising is super expensive because you're sending ads to people that might not be ready to buy. Even though they are probably possible clients for your service or for your product. So what's the solution? The solution is to create a list. And then that list, that list is probably an email list or it could be a YouTube channel or something like that. So you advertise something free. Let's say you could, you could say something like, um, you could make, for example, the toothbrush thing, you could make it somehow exciting by mixing it with beauty, how to have beautiful teeth, how to have white teeth, and there will be people that will be interested in that. So you can have a sales letter, yeah, uh, not a sales letter, sorry, a newsletter that you send by email every week, yeah, to that list. So basically, you're offering information for free, and then you add people to your email list, and then when you send them the email monthly, that email is free, because emails are free to send, right? So you, you acquire the possible client, yeah, by offering them a freebie, free information, and then you can market to them for free later on. The same can be done with a YouTube channel. You offer information for free in your YouTube channel, and then people subscribe there. And then from your YouTube channel, you can try to get them to sign up for your email list or you can try to sell them straight from there. As long as you're, you're giving them enough free content that they're interested in you, that you're providing value to them and that you prove that you're knowledgeable to them, yeah, then this works and people are happy to be in your community because they're learning from you and you develop a, a relationship with them. Yeah, they get to know you. And then when they become your clients, they already know what kind of a copywriter you are or what kind of a salesman you are or whatever. 
or what what your toothbrushes do whatever yeah so uh you could also sell your toothbrush uh with i don't know kids stories you know kids stories free kids stories that parents can give to their kids very very clean everything and then the the hero of the story brushes his own teeth or brushes her own teeth something like that yeah and you provide a new little story a new little comic strip every week by email yeah something like that the po the possibilities are endless endless yeah and the channels are endless it could be physical addresses so postal mail it could be email it could be youtube it could be instagram all kinds of things just your own list and then you own your own traffic yeah then your own traffic is free and this nobody talks about yeah everybody's talking about just how to write the letter you know what that's that's like only 25% of the success of your advertising yeah there are many other factors and traffic is like 50% of the whole the whole uh success you know the quality of the list that you're sending your ads to yeah and of course the last thing is you know your offer you know it doesn't matter how good your list is how charismatic you are uh, how good your uh, your ads are if your product is like overpriced or not good enough or doesn't have a good reputation or whatever then there is nothing to do about it you can't you can't really succeed right so you need a good product you need a good price you need a good offer yeah we call that whole bunch of factors the price the product the guarantee all those conditions all together they're called the offer yeah so the offer is like 25 percent the sales letter the words on your ad the copywriting is also only 25 percent and then the other 50 percent is the quality of your list yeah the quality of the uh, of the people that you're talking to yeah so if you're advertising you know your uh i don't know your toothbrushes in porn websites where people are not interested in toothbrushes then then your list is horrible right and your ad will fail right or it will be so expensive that it's just not not feasible right so i'm putting an an extreme example but it's um a lot of people focus on copywriting yeah i mean it's important to to have a good ad it's really important but it's not everything it's not everything there's a lot of other factors and if you're running an advertising team you need to know about that you need to know about traffic about your list and you need to to know about good offers good guarantees and then that whole package hopefully will sell it's a very tough business but it's so much fun yeah and i hope i hope you enjoy reading these books as much as i have um of course i have my own list <laughs> so in the description there is a free ebook that you can have 10 rules for successful advertising it's completely free and you can learn from that very very nice little ebook very quick read and can bring you lots of cash because it's easy to read easy instructions that you can implement easily have a good one